world class players. And Great Britain, five female players and a female Canadian coach. And the referees for this game are Fergenbaum from Canada, Kirsten Longquist, Sweden, Biest, Italy. And my name is uh, Will Smith. I'm uh, from Sheehan here in Norway. And it's face off. And the game is on, and uh, play number 13 picks up behind the goalie. A shot from number 43. And Great Britain picks up the puck. Germany, number 53. Well, there is good fight from uh, the German players. Germany's picking up the puck. It's passed over and it's going and shot and it's go. And that was player number 97, Schroeder. Face off. And uh, fight for pocket there, number Great Britain. And uh, they are in the defensive zone, Germany. And working now forward. And And the puck is over and go. Going for a and Germany's fighting for the puck and he's going for a shot. It's, it's a goal. And the goal scorer is number 97, Schroeder Felix. Felix 
And if fights off from the pocket here. And Germany wins. Picks up the puck. Ooh, good save there. And Germany is still in, going, having on to the puck. Germany is very offensive. And now the referee is putting down for a delayed penalty. We have uh, Great Britain going forward now. Germany has one player out for interference. Number 43, Herning. Face off in uh, the German zone. Okay. Working uh, hard for the uh, puck and get it out of the zone. Picked up uh, by uh, number. Germany is working hard defensive. They pick up the puck. And going into uh, Great Britain's defensive zone, and it's oh, a good save from the Great Britain goalkeeper. Fuck is in the defensive zone of uh, Germany. No. Oh, it's a score! And that was, it's, it, it's a hat trick from a player number 97, Schreider. Face off and uh, puck is in the defense zone of uh, Great Britain. Uh, uh, another goal from a player, number uh, nine. Uh, sorry, it was number eight, Renhardt. So it's a face-off and uh, 10 minutes, 41 seconds into the... <laughs> 10 minutes in, we are... Uh, Germany is reading 3-0. So I'm saying 4-0, of course. And uh, Germany is very offensive and working hard to pick up the puck in the defensive zone of Great Britain. And, uh, Germany is still going to the puck, boy, we have. Oh, there's a, a tackle and it's penalty, delayed penalty. The 
Great Britain will be teeing. And Germany will be in a power play. TV timeout. So it's a uh, teeing. Oh, it's a uh, teeing. Germany power play for two minutes. And uh, number 97 passes for number six. And uh, Germany is playing hard in the offense zone, their offense zone. Oh. It's a save from uh, Great Britain's uh, goalkeeper. Oh. It's uh, official goal. So it's nine minutes into the game, it's 5 0 for Germany, and we have a face off. And uh, Germany wins the safe off. And uh, Germany is uh, working hard defensive, and uh, Great Britain is also working hard for getting a score. Ooh, that was a close shot for a goal. Oh, that's... Oh, the, the puck is still uh, out on the ice. It was good save. Germany is picking up the puck in the neutral zone. Now going hard for it. Great Britain's goal. Whoa! Saved by Great Britain's goalkeeper.
That was a great save by uh, Great Britain's Hackworth, the goalkeeper. Face off. Germany, oh, oh, Great Britain picks up the puck. Working hard to get into the offensive zone of uh, Germany. Oh, two Great Britain players tackle each other. Oh, it hits each other. I think. So it's a uh, face off in uh, Great Britain's office zone. Uh, for Germany's office zone. And Germany wins the face-off. Germany is uh, working into uh, their uh, office, off in Seoul. And it's still uh, keeping the park is uh, Germany. And uh, they are pushing hard onto the Great Britain team. Still uh, got the puck, the German team going forward towards uh, Great Britain's goal, and it's a good pass and a great save. Good save by Great Britain's goalkeeper, Hogwarts. And it's face off in Germany's offense. So, and uh, Germany picks up a puck from the face off and. Shot, uh, uh, the shot was a shot outside the net. And uh, Germany is still hanging on to the puck. Oh, a shot outside of the close outside of the uh, Great Britain's goal. And uh, good pass there. Oh, a save there, a great save. Flashing leather, goalkeeper, great Britain, Hawkworth, keeping them good in the game. A great save. And a new face off for uh, Germany and Great Britain in their offense, office zone. It's uh, been all Germany so far in this uh, game. And uh, just waiting for the face off and uh, German players are moving around uh, around the face off zone. And it's down. And Germany picks up the uh, puck after the face off. Schroeder. And a box pass uh, in the offensive zone off. Uh, oh, that was a hit. And Germany is uh, rounding about in the And it's the player number 97 had that had a hat trick. He's going, oh, that was close to a great pass. Uh, 
And the player was uh, Schroeder and oh, it's hot in there in the zone of the front of the goal of the German's uh, goalkeeper, Hockworth. It's a great defense by the Great Britain team and now uh, Germany have a good defense. Great Britain is working very hard, uh, defensive, and it, oh, that's a goal! That's a sn sniper from uh, player number 97, Schroeder. That's Schroeder's fourth score. Face off. And Germany wins the face off. A dumpster puck in the Great Britain's zone. And uh, Germany still onto the puck and uh, are. Oh, what great shot from uh, Herring just over the bar. And it's. Oh! Goal! It's a goal! Herring again, he puts it in the goal. And it's seven zero. Germany is showing off great uh, offensive skills. Now ready for a new face off. And Germany picks up a puck from the face off. And that was Betts that took the puck from the face off. Oh, what a shot! Feather scores. And the score is 8 0. He was assisted by Betts. We're ready for a face off uh, and uh, Germany 8, Great Britain 0. That was a no icing. Picked up by Germany uh, in the neutral zone, going half forward. Over. Now we have a commercial break. Whistle from the referee, and it's uh, TV timeout. Yada for their generous contribution and support to this event. Yada, no
And then it's face off. And Germany wins the face off. And uh, Germany still in the uh, offensive zone of uh, Great Britain. They are putting around the goalie. And oh, it's a great save. Oh. Puck is loose. Germany is onto the puck and uh, are filling up around uh, Great Britain's goal. Oh, shot outside. Oh, goal post. And the uh, puck is still in the uh, Great Britain's uh, defense end zone. Germany is fighting hard. It's rather number 97, the great goal scorer is showing off. And Bosman. Oh, hit. Great Britain is winning the puck. Good defensive uh, play by uh, Germany. It's a hit there. Oh, good pass. Oh, uh, oh the puck is loose. That great save by uh, Great Britain's goalkeeper, uh, Hackworth. Uh, the puck is in the defensive zone of Germany. And working up to the offensive zone of Germany now. No icing. And it was one minute left of the first period. Oh, a great pass there from uh, number 43. And it's a goal, a ring hung, a ring hack. And the score is 9-0. We're in for a new face-off, and uh, the players in the face-off is uh, Radler. Sorry. Um, the puck is in the offensive zone of Germany, and it's picked up by Great Britain. And Saved by Great Britain's uh, Huck Schwartz. New face off in uh, Great Britain's uh, defense in song. And uh, Germany wins the face off by hearing. Oh, that was close for a goal. And it's two seconds to go, and it's end of first period with uh, Germany against Great Britain. The score is 9 Germany, 0 Great Britain.
And uh, we're going to take a short break and we will we'll be with you in just a few minutes. We're here at the World Para Ice Hockey Championships 2023 in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Eight teams from around the world have come here to compete. Let's take a look behind the scenes at what goes into putting on an event like this. Tyler McGregor scores for Canada! Here comes Yifong Shen, he scores! Bernard Herring of Germany, walking right in, shoots and scores! Before they can compete internationally, all para athletes need to undergo classification. The reason behind classification is we're trying to limit the impact of any impairment that the athlete might have on the performance in their sport. We're really looking at lower extremities, checking to make sure someone does have an amputation, but for others where it might be a neurological diagnosis, we would look at strength measurements and we may also look at coordination and neurological measures. So it's a huge spectrum of, of individuals that can actually come in and participate. And we really do want to try to get as many, many athletes through because we want the sport to grow. We also have a medical supervisor who acts as a liaison between the team's medical staff and the local medical crew. I help to educate the local medical staff about some of the unique challenges they may come across while covering para ice hockey. In stand-up hockey, the players collide with the plexiglass portion of the boards, but in para hockey, our athletes collide with the bottom half of the boards, which are much less forgiving. So we keep an eye on head and neck injuries that could be sustained as a result. Another example is that the athletes have sharp picks on the end of their sticks used for propelling. Those can cause lacerations and puncture wounds. Some athletes are tied in using straps, some are buckled in and have ratchet straps. We like to demonstrate some of this unique equipment to medical staff so that they have a better appreciation of the challenges of removing an athlete from the field of play. Before the competition starts, each team needs to have their equipment inspected and approved for the ice. So the verification comes down to all the equipment that the player is wearing from top to bottom and we are indeed really picky on to the centimeter or even sometimes to the millimeter because that one edge can give the advantage. It can be not safe to, to, to the players. Like the length of the picks on their sticks, if that's longer than the other one, those are sharp, so that can be harmful. This is one of our main concerns, like safety and that everyone is on the same level. This one is definitely off. Yes. Uh, that's more than a centimeter. It's, it's, it's so you off. need to go up a little bit? Huh? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll make it work. Yeah. They're doing that on the fly, so it sometimes feels like you're walking into a metal shop. It's bolting together and making those changes right away, and of course, they come back then to us, and then we approve it back. I feel it really rewarding to you're like making sure that they're able to play the sport that we all love. Even with all the preparation that goes into planning for the competition, once it starts, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in real time. My name is Stanislav Kushnirik and uh, on this tournament I'm working as a result manager. Uh, I'm responsible for all the statistics from all the games. Children will be uh, surprised <laughs> when you came there <laughs> with the camera. I have a children there. It's you have children? Yeah, what? 15, 17 years old children will be doing uh, stuff. Oh, okay. So they will be surprised. So you've done this kind of thing before? Or you're learning know, or what? This is my first time, yeah. Cool. How's it, is this your first game right now? Yeah. All right. You yeah. pumped for it? Yeah, I am. Really pumped. Yeah, usually I'm working with a team of volunteers, uh, usually around six people, gathering all the statistics like uh, shots, goals, plus minus. They are sent to the broadcaster and most important, sending to the teams so they can improve their games uh, after each period. I work as a video goal judge. With video goal review, um, I'm working every single game. Um, I'm up there with an officiating coach too, so we're watching the game and uh, basically trying to just verify good goals. We have our broadcast view here, we have a score clock burnt in here, and we have the two overheads. There's a couple of rules and a couple of things that we need to look at every time to confirm if the puck completely crosses the goal line, the net is dislodged, the puck goes in off of an official. At the red line. Directed in front, rebound, they score! Travis Dodson's got two, and the USA adding to their lead. Great play down low by the... There are a lot of moving parts that go into organizing an event like this, and it wouldn't be possible without all the people who come together to make it happen. 
At the end of the day, it's about creating the best experience possible for the athletes and celebrating the sport.
for the puck from Great Britain and Germany into the offensive zone of uh, Germany. And Germany wins the puck in the offensive zone of uh, Great Oh, it's a goal and it's scored by 97 Schrader. The score is 11 0. And this rider, he's so patient with the puck, waits out the goalkeeper and uh, puts it up in in the net. And uh, face off one by uh, Germany. A good chase by Great Britain there for the puck in Germany's offensive zone. Germany wins back to park and are uh, in uh, Great Britain's defensive zone. And Rip Schreider is onto the puck again. He's working very hard. A good pass. A close shot outside the net for Great Britain. And they play was Lowenstein. A great pass and a good save by Jody Hill. So it's a fight. And now we will have a little TV timeout. We'll be back to you soon. And uh, we're back. We have had some technical uh, difficulties, but we're now back for uh, eight minutes and 37 seconds into the. It's eight minutes and 37 seconds left of the second uh, period, and Germany leads 12 0. And it's face off in uh, Germany's offensive zone. And uh, Germany is really uh, not showing any mercy in this game. And uh, the puck is uh, won by the German uh, team. And, uh, good fight there by the Great Britain player. And uh, Germany still has got the puck. Oh, that was a close uh, race for the goal. Just hit the post on the outside. And uh, Germany is still having uh, the puck on, uh, in the neutral zone. And uh, Great Britain picks up the puck. Now Germany is back onto the puck and oh, what was close race for a good pass. They are filling up German plays uh, in front of uh, Dirty Hill in the Great Britain goal. Oh, it's hard to see the puck, but it's a no goal. The goal was on the the, the puck was on the line of uh, behind the goalkeeper, but they get it out. Uh, 
And uh, Great Bristol is chasing in their own defensive zone to get the puck out from German. Great save by Jody Hill from Great Britain. And uh, German uh, is still uh, ruling around in the Great Britain off a, uh, defensive zone. Uh, uh, still chasing the puck behind uh, Great Britain's goal, Germany. And uh, Great Britain is filling up in front of their own goal. And that's uh, no icing. And Great Britain's got the puck uh, in front of Germany. It's goal. They try to work hard They're offensive now to get some goals. And Germany is really defending themselves. That's a good job by Renhack. And the herring is on the left side. Passing uh, in front of the Great Britain goal. Oh, it's a great shot. And it's a great goal, and it's hearing that scores. And the score is 13 0. And it's face off, neutral song. And the puck is uh, back into Germany's stick. Offside. So it's a new uh, face off. Face off in neutral zone. And uh, now it's, uh, yeah, it's a TV break. Off. And it's a great save by uh, Jody Hill. And uh, that's icing. So it's uh, 
face off in uh, Germany's offensive zone. So they're all ready for their face off. And uh, it's a great fight there for the park. And Great Britain tries to clear out the park from their uh, defensive zone. And now uh, Germany is filling up in front of uh, Jody Hill in the Great Britain goal. Oh, what a save by uh, Jody Hill. He had a uh, run run a point flank and uh, Jody Hill fills up the goal and it's a great save. New face off. And the uh, win uh, for the puck there is for Germany. And you say by. Oh, she covers the puck, uh, Judy Hill. Great save. And uh, Great Britain uh, does some uh, changes. And even Germany. Jody Hill has had an impressive performance. And uh, Germany wins the face-off. Good defensive play by uh, Great Britain. And uh, Great Britain clears the puck out from their uh, defense, uh, from neutral zone. And uh, that's a hit by uh, Great Britain onto Germany. And it's a delayed, uh, a delayed pe a penalty. For uh, Germany. So they will be. It was a hit, and uh, Germany gets uh, a face-off in uh, and 77. The player number 77, uh, Vede, gets two minutes penalty, and it will be a face-off in uh, Germany's uh, defensive zone, opposite zone of for Great Britain. Oh, it's face off. Is it possible for Great Britain to uh, score a goal here in this face off? It will be a neutral zone face off because of icing. And the box loose. Picked up by uh, Great Britain. A good defensive play by the Great Britain player, Farmer. That's a close race for a score. Good shot. It's a chase for the puck now by. No icing. And uh, Germany is uh, having the puck, but a good defensive play by uh, Great Britain. And it clears out the puck from uh, defensive zone of uh, Great Britain into uh, Germany's defensive zone. And uh, here's a chase for the puck, and it's the shot and the score by uh, Great Britain. Really exciting for that score. 
Got it, Parker Post Great Pick them off the scoreboard. And it's score is 13 1. It was a great shot. And then Pepperett crowd goes wild on the bleachers. Germany 13, Great Britain 1. And uh, right, Great the Germany wins the face off. It's a chase for the puck behind uh, Great Britain's goal. Germany still onto the puck. And the Schreider is. Uh, A cover by uh, Judy Hill. So it's a face off in Germany's offensive zone. And it's also some uh, players changed. Face off is by uh, Lowenstein uh, with uh, Nicholson for uh, Great Britain. And Germany wins the face off. Uh, and it's a new score by Germany, player number 30, 33, Lowenstein from Germany. And it's a great pass from Schroeder. Face off and uh, ooh. it's a loose stick. And a uh, player got a puck in the neck. So we will have some. Uh, accidental hit. So we have the medics on the ice. First man number 16. Busman is a player that's 16 years old. He's just scored his first uh, goal. I will uh, give you the game schedule for the rest of the day. And it's uh, today, the next game is at. Uh, 3 p.m. Sweden with Kazakhstan and at 7 p.m. France with Norway. Yeah. Bushman is okay and that's great news. And he's a young player and he's got a great uh, career uh, in front of him in uh, para hockey. He plays in the Czech League. I only 16 years old. And he's a great player already. And Germany wins the face off. And it's a big chase for the puck. And it's no icing. And uh, great fight there by uh, German and... Ooh, that was a close pass. They're fighting for the puck. And 
and uh, Germany picks up the puck again behind uh, Great Britain's goal. Grace Britain is chasing the puck, clears it out into neutral zone. Great uh, block there by uh, Great Britain. The puck is loose. So Germany is uh, picking up the puck, but it's a good defensive play by Great Britain. And it's puck is uh, cleared out. And it's clears the puck out to icing. It's going to be a new face off. Uh, and the players there is uh, Hunning and Nicholson. And a new shot and a new great save by uh, Johnny Hill. Shot direct from the face off. is winning the puck to follow Germany and uh, we are going uh, all right everyone then we will have another 15 minutes break watering the ice so it's a bit of time to have some uh, beverages and snacks in the cafeteria we, we will be back for the third and last period with uh, Germany and uh, Great Britain in just a couple of minutes If you guys have been at a tournament with me, my expectations are simple. They've been the same at every tournament I've ever been a supervisor at. There are two expectations. Number one, exemplary rule knowledge. You know the rule book inside and out. Nothing surprises you. And number two is ma
If you guys have been at a tournament with me, my expectations are simple. They've been the same at every tournament I've ever been a supervisor at. There are two expectations. Number one, exemplary rule knowledge. You know the rule book inside and out. Nothing surprises you. And number two is manage the big moments. Our professionalism on the ice. Unless you are Norwegian and wear a full beard every day of the week, my expectation is that you will be clean shaven for games. Yours passes because I get it, okay? Fergie, that does not pass taking the ice. We have to have officials who have excelled at the able body, who have a passion for para ice hockey. Guys who can manage it when all the chips are on the line. When a team gets relegated, that's a huge deal for those teams. So we gotta make sure that our guys were spot on. Everybody on staff would wanna work a gold medal game. We're all pretty competitive. We all wanna be the one chosen to have that last game. We all respect each other, but at the end of the day, you want your name on that sheet. I think we need to understand there's gonna be places where we have to utilize a more senior, worldly official to light a fire under guys when they're on the ice with them. Now we got some tough decisions to make. You know, a lot of the, the on-ice performance that happens now could, could reflect, you know, future, 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 future selections, future. future participation as an official. We're three years outside of the Paralympics. And those officials who haven't officiated a Paralympics yet, yes, are auditioning to be in consideration in 2026. Same thing with our guys who have already been there. You're here to do a job on the ice, and that's, that's what you gotta do. The first time I ever did sled hockey, it was the sportsmanship that the players showed and the appreciation they showed for the officials. There's so much more of an appreciation for life and the aspects that go into putting together an event like this. The sport deserves a spotlight on it, and what these guys do deserves a spotlight on it. On the ice, you kind of have to have trust, you have to work together, but it's just as important off the ice to get along, to work together, to have the laughs, to build the camaraderie. There are a ton of countries now that if I ever get into trouble too, like I have a close friend that can help me out. So I got zipper in the middle, which is black. Yeah. yeah. Then I got two stripes, and then mine starts in that next white one. A white and a black. Zipper, two full lines. Yeah, you go white black. You're either padding here, yeah. I'm moving over. I think you go back to the other knot, don't you? Find out the top. And this is why we appreciate and we're not in charge of anything else. Yeah. We appreciate. <laughs> and at the, the end of the tournament, uh, we have a nice little kind of party and send off before everyone goes back to their own uh, re respective countries. And uh, we're so happy and it's so much fun. But you know, that's kind of the, the end of, you know, the, the week or two of, of getting to see everyone. You get along so well with these guys. They're like your brothers because you spend so much time with them and like being away from home and your family and your kids. You find your routine here with your, your good buddies. The first tournament I ever worked, I, I literally remember leaving there being like, I, I wish I could just do this 365 days yeah, a year. Yeah, be like, great this is, a full-time job. This is, this is the best. Yeah. But then it makes it even that much sweeter if you only see each other, you know, once a year a little bit to just make, make the most of it. My mother is going to be so disappointed.
showing big muscles. Oh, a new score by player number 97, Schrader. And it's some uh, changes uh, for the by the players. I think Jody Hill has been doing a still great job in the Great Britain's goal. Face off and uh, Germany wins the puck. And uh, Germany defense, good defense by uh, Great Britain. Farmer. And uh, now Germany is picking up the puck again in their own uh, defensive zone. Working hard and going towards uh, better with the puck going to uh, Great Britain's uh, defensive zone. And it's a shot by Betts. And the uh, German team is still going for puck. And it's a great save. By, oh, it's a goal. It's a goal by... Uh, Player Brelard, and the score is, and uh, he's the captain, and the score is 18. 18 to a new face off player.
Okay, great pass there by uh, Strider. And they're filling up into the front of the Great Britain's goal. So Great Britain clears out the park into uh, the offensive zone for the, uh, Great Britain. Germany regroups. And uh, Schreider with the park. Oh, that's a close. And Germany is still pushing with Schreider. He's, oh, great save. A great save by uh, Jody Hill. And, uh, Germany picks up the clock, puck in uh, the neutral zone. So uh, 97 there, Schroeder uh, is with the puck, but he's lost his stick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's uh, for a shot by... And... Uh, But the referee blows the whistle, and now it's a face-off in Great Britain's soul. And it's Bushman. And Brown in the face-off. A good save there, and she's uh, blocking the puck, uh, Judy Hill. She... And the puck is, uh... we have uh, Germany winning the face off. We have, oh, uh, it's a blocked shot by Great Britain. And we have, an, oh, it's a shot by Bushman. Oh, a great save there by Jody Hill. And we have uh, a new shot, a new save by Jordy Hill. And uh, Germany is pushing hard to get into position. Save and block by uh, Jordy Hill. And we have uh, some uh, changes uh, from both teams. Score 90 to one Germany. And we have seven minutes left of the third and last period. Oh, outside the goal, uh, shot directly from the face off by Brielle. Puck is uh, loose. Germany picks it up. Hearing his position himself. And uh, Germany uh, is. Gibbon Clay is almost hitting his uh, own teammates uh, in the changing booth.
Maybe we should give the officials in the changing boots some helmets. It's a close call. And it's Herring against uh, uh, with the Brown in the face off. Great Britain picks up the puck and it blocked by uh, or covered by Judy Hill. You face off. Coach Rasenik is changing a player on the Great Britain team. Germany wins the face-off. Renard gets a shot over the outside the goal. Herring is winning the puck. And passes to Betts. And uh, Great Britain tries to clear the puck out of their own uh, defensive zone. It's a good uh, defense play. Again, Jet Great Britain picks up the puck, but it's uh, again defensed by uh, Germany. So Herring is uh, oh, a new shot and a great shot in a goal. The score is 20. To Germany, one Great Britain. Germany is dominating this game, definitely. And it's no mercy from the German players. They are playing hard and they are really offensive. And Schreiner is skating from his own defensive zone and uh, shoots on the outside. And, uh, oh, it's penalty. And uh, uh, next game after this, uh, Germany, uh, Great Britain, at 3 o'clock we have Sweden against Kazakhstan. And at uh, 7 p.m. France versus Norway. So, uh, the players are back on the ice and... Uh, we have uh, the German team that's really dominating the game and the goalkeeper in for Great Britain, Jody Hill, is uh, doing a really good job actually. She's been having many great saves. And it's now teeing and uh, Lowenstein, he's got the three minutes, two minutes uh, penalty. Player number 33, Lowenstein, he's in the hot box. Penalty, T. So now it's power play for Great Britain. The face-off will be in uh, Great Britain's offensive zone. Let's see if the Great Britain can uh, take uh, advantage of uh, their uh, power play. Five against four. They are getting ready. And uh, Red, uh, Germany tried to clear the puck out of their own zone. 
Schroeder. His uh, great uh, speed. And another goal by Bosman. Pass. And uh, Great Britain wins the book. And it's a ooh, close shot from Farmer from the red line. Now, oh, Germany uh, has picked up the puck and uh, they are having a great speed. And they're chasing the puck. Vede with the puck. And uh, it's a stick loose. Oh, great save by Jody Hill. So a new uh, face-off in uh, Great Britain's So, And it's only three minutes and uh, 18 seconds left of this game. And 14 seconds left on the penalty for Germany. So, uh, Herring is taking a shot. Oh, it's a goal. The score is 22 Germany, one Great Britain. It's a short-handed goal by uh, Germany. And the winner of uh, the Germany wins the bear ball. No icing. And uh, Lauenstein, player number 33, is on the ice. So full team and full strength for the Germany team. Oh, what a great save by uh, Jody Hill. She stretched really out there. She's been doing a great job in the uh, Great Britain's goal. And the next game is at three o'clock and it's uh, Sweden against Kazakhstan.
3 p.m. And Great Britain tries to clear out the puck of the, the zone by Farmer. Oh, that was close from icing, but it's no icing. Offside, Great Britain. Face off is in the neutral zone. Hearing uh, we have Nicholson in the face off. And Germany wins the face off. And uh, Renhack. Uh, Fast forward to the Great Britain goal. Herring is fighting behind the German, uh, Great Britain's goal. Now Farmer is chasing the puck into... Chasing the puck in the German zone. Defensive play, Herring picks up the puck and shoots from the neutral line. Great save by uh, Jordy Hill. Oh, new save! Open glove. Germany's stealing it. Playing very well offensive. And uh, hearing his lining off for a shot but it's was blocked by the Great Britain player good defensive play by Great Britain Lowenstein oh a new save by Jody Hill It's one minute to go of uh, this game. Germany here is uh, Great Britain. The score is 22, Germany 1, Great Britain. Face off in the uh, German offensive. So, Launstein and Nicholson. Germany picks up the puck and Schrader is lining up uh, Laustein and he scores, he makes a goal. The score is 23-1, a nice pass from uh, Schrader. Face off, uh, and uh, Great Britain wins the face off, and he shoots directly from the and Germany picks up the puck uh, in their defense zone, and uh, nice speed there. By Brady Weather, and it's a good. And uh, Great Britain works them up, but Germany picks it up again in their own defense zone. Nice defense play. And it's uh, three against two in uh, defensive, no icing. And uh, that's. Uh, End of this first game of the Norwegian um, of the and now we have our player of the game awards. And the awards will be presented by the WBIH International Team.
It's been a very dominant play by the uh, German uh, players and one of the biggest plays I think has been uh, play number 97, uh, Schrader. And for Great Britain I will pinpoint uh, Law, uh, Law, uh, Hill. She's been doing a great job. And in, uh, Great Britain, they have uh, Great Britain fought hard and will recover for uh, the game tomorrow. Great Britain have uh, in their team five women players. So uh, we are uh, waiting for the Greatest Players uh, Award. So we are in uh, Sheen, south of uh, Oslo, approximately 150 kilometers. Nice little town with about 50,000 people living. 